if you're so in love with yourself. Amen. You'll never overcome that way. You gotta find a Jesus that you love beyond yourself. You hear somebody. So then hear this type of praise service. Rejoice heavens. You dwell in them. But what? Beware. Those who are on the earth and the sea. Because what? He is not like he was before when he was just trying to capture the man child. This is what I want to tell you now. Today in the 21st century, the anger, the malevolence, the wrath, malice of Satan is far more dangerous than any time else. Why? Because he knows that his time why is that so apparent? The ascension of Jesus at the right hand of the Father has once again turned on God's clock. Anytime now, he will return for the church. The moment he witnessed, you could not stop him by Herod's knife and machetes and sword. And he fulfilled his 30 plus years on earth. Raised up into glory. That suggests to Satan, God's timing is fast approaching. It's completion. So he is kicked out of glory. Heaven is under a convention. And earth now has to be weird. Because our enemy is worse than ever. Is that for your children? Turn them into drug addicts. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. Now nobody can diagnose their sexuality anymore. Satan is gone crazy. Hello, somebody. There's no peace in people's lives. Love is an absent. Amen feature. Come on somebody talk to me in the house. Amen. There is war. Bloodshed. Earthquakes. Death in all quarters. Some of the time is short. Amen. Some of you are not going to be no hundred as pastor just said. Amen. For in a moment when you think not. The son of man shall appear. What I say unto one. I say unto all. Beware. Satan cannot love. He has no love. For the person who sets up their mind to serve him. It's one of your worst mistakes ever. You were not put on the planet just to attain a profession, buy a house, a nice car, and have children and die. That is not the purpose. If that was your purpose, stop working, stop living, just die. Don't stress it. If all the purpose you have in life is just to work and die, what's the point? Just die now. That's not the purpose. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God in his divine wisdom wanted some creatures that look like him, behave like him, love like him. Oh, praise God. Compassionate like him. When they walk around and greet and fellowship with each other, they were little Jesuses walking around. And God says, I call them humans. When they live, they glorify me because they're in my image and my likeness. And God said, I want those little ones I make to live with me throughout eternity. I am an eternal creature. 
Brother Crary, when I die, it's not over. Hello, somebody. I said, when I die, it's not over. Amen. I'm just setting up myself for a glorious, eternal residence in the presence of Almighty God. What then is Satan's plan here? People of God, the church that gave rise and Israel who gave rise to the man child, he continues his pursuit. It's the introduction to the warfare. Satan has not given up. He's still pursuing. Hallelujah. The church and Israel, the church of the Lord Jesus Christ, and Israel that gave birth to the man child, he still has us in his cross years. No one is safe unless you're in the presence of God. On another level, every single seed that the church seeks to produce, Satan confronts it. That is why my youngsters, in coming back, hallelujah, from Jamaica, the moment they did the Lord's work, Satan said, uh uh, I am going to confront you. I'm going to frustrate you. I don't want you to do this again because somebody received the love of God. Every place where they went, the pastors were making altar call to the children and children were standing forth and giving their lives to the Lord Jesus. Satan dislikes that approach. But I finally say to the believers, beware. He's angry. He's mad. He hates you. Come on, somebody. Nothing concerning your future. He seeks to advance. He wants you dead. Jesus said the thief comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But he said, I have come. Hallelujah. That you will have life. And have it more abundantly. Stand with me on your feet, somebody. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We have come today to tell our people, beware, Satan is all mad. Hello, somebody. I said he's all mad. Come on, he's all mad. Praise God. And he's after the seed. He's after God's pronunciation on your life. Like the man child, your seed is meant to bring a harvest to Almighty God. And guess who is sitting down ready as you deliver to destroy the old dragon, Satan, the devil, the adversary, the accuser of the brethren. Amen, somebody. Somebody speak with me. But in the mighty sovereign name of Jesus, I come to declare that your seed is eternal. Amen. I wish somebody, amen. You are ready to give birth, but the seed is being <laughs> attacked by the dragon. It's your time now on the altar, somebody. Because I come to declare to the people of God, your seed is not a temporal seed. Your seed is eternal. Amen. Amen. And I'll be praying the power of faith with you as you stand on this altar. I don't want you to come like, hey amen, I'm just, no, come, Satan is angry at me because I am walking in obedience to my God. Satan is angry at me because what I'm about to give birth to. Hello, somebody. I want you to understand this today. It's a clear mandate from Almighty God. Amen. Anybody in the house? It's mad at me. But my seed is going up to the throne of God. Come on, somebody, declare it. My seed is going up to the throne of God. I, I want to hear you, my seed. I don't know, your children could be your seed. The purpose of God in your life is a seed. My seed is eternal. Come on, say it with me. My seed is eternal. Stop this. Stand here with me, baby. Come on, stand here with me.
Come on, somebody. My seed is eternal. So oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Praise his mighty hand. Glory to God. Raise your other hand and give God thanks. My seed is eternal. Come on, say it with me. My seed is eternal. Come on, say it with me. My seed is eternal. It's going up into the presence of God. Come on. My seed must live in the presence of God. Come on. My seed must live in the presence of God. Thank you, Jesus. Lift up your hand now and start to give God praise, somebody. Everybody in the house, praise be to the Lamb of God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I want you, somebody, to get ready to agree with somebody of the eternal nature of the seed. Don't see a seed as only something that functions in this church. Hallelujah, Jesus. Or functions in Jamaica or Africa or Philippines. No, no, no. Your seed is eternal. And it will dwell in the presence of God. Third sentence. Satan dislikes you because of your seed. Satan hates you because of your seed. I don't want you to talk to him. I'm going to talk to him on your behalf. Principles and powers and Satan, I address you. You dislike the house and the people of God and networking for Christ's ministry because of their seed. <laughs> oh, love of God. There's a lady from Montego Bay here, the one who, <laughs> amen, Gabriella and uh, Gabriella and, um, and Sarah. Satan hates you because of your seed. Saya Kore Oshia, Mundi Koreania. Accusing you day and night. Fighting you like anything else. <laughs> Amen. Amen. See, sometimes people of God, when you battle principalities and powers, you put it even in the names of your children and your defined principalities and powers. Amen. And that's what God just said here, somebody. Amen. But our seed is eternal. Hallelujah. She has laid up for herself treasures in heaven. We are neither moth nor rust does corrupt. Now we are thieves break through and steal. Hey! Oh, sovereign God, we give you praise today. What a mighty God. What a mighty God. What a mighty God. Listen. <laughs> right now, we can't send Satan any place. He's going to stick around trying to grab a hold of our seed. But I want to show you what God does. And I want you to concern yourself now with how God is moving today. While he's there seeking to kill the seed, God snatched the seed. And the seed ended up in God's presence. And God put the woman in the wilderness and take care of her. I want to help somebody here today. God by his sovereign will has set apart a time to deal with Satan. You're not going to get rid of him right now. But his time is short. I want to help you. What you're going to do now <laughs> is ask God <laughs> to snatch your seed into his presence. Let me explain wilderness to you. When Jesus came, he spent 40 days and night in the wilderness. Israel spent 40 years in the wilderness. The wilderness is not what you think. It's a place of discipline and spiritual rejuvenation. It's a place of fasting and prayer. 
it's a place of toughness come on somebody you deposit your seed in the presence of God and you go get disciplined oh Jesus in heaven hello don't be distracted Satan will have you running behind him for the next 10 years and screaming and getting depressed. Uh uh. Deposit your seed, whatever God gave you, the presence of God, and enter into wilderness. And the Bible said, There, God is going to care for you. There, God is going to protect you. There, God is going to make sure your life. Oh, somebody give him praise and glory in the house. Lift up your hands, somebody, and give up your seed. Give up your seed to Almighty God. You have to restate your position. What it is that God gave you to be a blessing. What is it that God downloaded in your spirit? Send it off to the presence of God. For the Holy Spirit is here today to receive your seed. Now some of you have to be ready to go into the wilderness, the place of discipline. Discipline me, Holy Ghost. <laughs> Hallelujah. I want to be close. I want to be protected. I want to be sustained. I want to be extolled, elevated by you. Jesus spent 40 years. Israel spent 40 years. We are ready now, Holy Spirit. Lord, take me as I am. With your hands raised, everybody. Lord, take me as to sift you but I have prayed for thee that your faith fail not sovereign father let the grace and the power of our God let the might and the spirit of our God rest upon your people thank you that we are in heavenly places in Christ Jesus Thank you that we shall share the divine nature. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that the gates of hell will not, cannot prevail against your people. Thank you that in you we live, move, and have our being. Thank you that the blood covers, the blood secures, the blood sanctifies. 
sanctifies. I know it was the blood. Let the blood of Jesus be dominant upon the lives of your people today. Holy Spirit, 